On this week's episode of Bungalow or in the Bus, we're at Antonio's Trattoria and Wine Bar, hanging out with my friend, Dr. David Sutton from Dapper Dental. Meatballs! Welcome to Bungalower and the Bus. I am the Bus John Bustegger, the spaghetti on your meatball, the meatball on your spaghetti. And I'm just honored to be nominated, Brendan O'Connor from Bungalower.com. Did I throw you off there a little bit, Brendan? No, I usually, liked it. Usually you're the, the tablecloth on your table. <laughs> The tablecloth on your table. <laughs> I like. I just like to see you be creative. Uh huh. I think it's because you just had a couple spicy meatballs. I did have some meatballs. We're here at Antonio's here in uh, Winter Park, right here on Park Avenue. Yeah, right. Sandwiched between uh, Burger Fi and Gary Lambert Salon. Yeah, kind of near Rollins. I can see Rollins. I can spit at Rollins and hit yeah, it from I here. I can throw my shoe at the Seven Eleven. It's right across the street. I wouldn't do any of those things. Though. I would. I would, and I will. Yeah. Well, you're a graduate of Rollins. You can say those things i got things to say about rollins college uh-huh. John. but here tonight with us we have a guest host the most dapper of hosts mr dapper <laughs> dental himself dr david sent sutton oh thank you for having me guys yeah no thanks Feels for being be here. here thank you for sharing your food with me well you know i feel like you're part of the family since you've been looking after our teeth for a, we've been together oh. a year now, right? Uh, a year? Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah. I just went. I just went for the very first time. And your teeth look great. Thank you. I thought Thank so, you. too. Oh, oh, he knows. He was say, all in look, there. You look so much better. Than Brendan? Than... Yeah, My, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I put him on the spot there. Our doctor doesn't have a favorite. Uh, no, I don't play he favorites. He likes us equally. Okay. But I do recall your teeth were probably in much better shape than mine were because David had to take like a pickaxe to it. <laughs> <laughs> there were things we flying a, out of there. We keep a weird chisel in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't break Just out too Brendan. often. Yeah. It's like uh, it's like a break in case of emergency. Yes. Yeah. Brendan's teeth. And yeah, Pretty much. I think at one point I saw my long lost twin come out of my mouth. <laughs> like it were just things that I just didn't. My keys. There were some confusing things. A couple socks. Yeah. Yeah. My my self respect. Everything came out of my teeth. But David is a dentist here in Winter Park, a fantastic dentist, and not Thank too you. far from here, from Park Avenue. You, oh. you can see his place on, what is it, like Fairbanks? And Fairbanks and Orange and Pennsylvania. Right where so, they all meet, right by the Ravenous Pig. Right where Pig you there. sit in traffic for an extended period of time. By Ravenous Pig. Yeah. You share a parking spot with Ravenous Pig. I do. You're in the former home of Swine, Swine and Sons. Swine and Sons, yeah. 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 Love it. Thank Excellent. you. But here on Bungalow on the Bus, we talk about all things Orlando and the surrounding areas, mostly the downtown areas around Orlando, like the Bungalow neighborhoods, such as downtown and Winter Park and College Park. Audubon Park. Winter Park. Soto. That's Paramore. It. That's it. All the other parks. All yeah, of them. Yeah. <laughs> all the, the parts. Except for the theme park. He's <laughs> all the parts of the Orlando pig, except <laughs> for the theme park. And if you like what you hear, go to bungalower.com. Or else. Or else, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram and eh, Twitter too. Why not, yeah. John? Uh, what'd you do this week? What did I do? I went and saw Aladdin on oh. Sunday, Ooh. and it was, it was good. It was really good. I mean, it, I'm probably not my the age range. I'm probably a little older for it. It's kind of a I don't want to say a kids show. There's a lot of adult eh, jokes it's in a it. A little junior, you yeah. Know. But it was fun. I mean, it's a Disney. It's a Disney play. So have you seen it, David? I have. I, I have seen the movie, the old movie, not the new movie, like the, the cartoon play. movie, the cartoon movie. Movie. Yeah, yeah. I hadn't seen the new movie yet. I, I think I either. saw the Pornhub version. Oh, what was that called? Yeah, rub my lamp or something. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like it. I skipped yeah. out. Oh yeah. The uh, <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. It, what? Well, I didn't see gone. the musical. It's I get, gone. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, so we I can't saw the last see it now. show. Forget about it. Was it. good though. It was really good. The the guy who played Aladdin, I can't recall his name, but he's from Orlando. Okay, and uh, he was fantastic. He was fantastic. Cole Neesmith from uh, Creative City Project just did a really interesting uh, video interview with him. If uh-huh. people want to check that out, just go to Creative City Project on Instagram. I yeah. think it's actually there. I think he gave it as all the, the genie that last night because it was the last night. Oh, is that when you went? Re- yeah, that's I went the, the night to go. Night. So I think he, he really went for it. Nice. So it was they good. Show. Try something new, you know. They uh-huh. Get a little, put a little funk. <laughs> on it. That's right. Yeah, I like that. Plus, we went out on Friday, you and I, Brendan. Where'd we go? We went out to, no, Saturday. We went to Nan's place. So we've recorded an episode here before. Have you heard of this place? No. no I David. want to hear more about this place. So it used to be an artist studio. It's okay. supposedly still an artist studio. I would argue that it's a special event space uh, <laughs> where someone happens to do art. But I don't want to get him in trouble. <laughs> you sound like, you sound like you're trying to get him in I trouble. Don't, no, no. 
it's very and he's dapper talk about dapper dapper guy he was in the tech industry bought this space in maitland that's tucked away uh across from it? maitland city center kind okay. of uh you would you would you would never see it from the street okay and it's behind it behind this little studio building is this little jewel of like giant oak trees and <laughs> oh, market lights yeah. and an outdoor stage and so this guy matt umbers hosted it was called 1618 is that what it was called yeah it was like uh i just showed up because he invited me and it was great i had a great time <laughs> he texted you like a million times he never read the text i read the text no you don't we, you would know what it was called a little bit. <laughs> david it was a uh, opera orlando did like a pop-up performance of like les mis songs that's cool and they were all in costume and when you walked into the space you were walking through like barricades and Little peasants were that sounds handing confusing, you champagne. But oddly, oddly it was confusing. Yeah. It was great, though. It was yeah. great. They had good food there from Dixie Dharma. I wish I'd smoked a little bit or something. I thought you did. We went. I, I don't think I did. I thought you did. Maybe I did. I wish I'd smoked more than <laughs> <laughs> But it was fun. It was but You beautiful. and I hung out. We got to go. And then we went to the satanic uh, bake sale slash party you, slash art show. Did you hear about that, David? I did not. I haven't heard of any of this stuff. This, well, that's well, what we're here for. You should listen you, to our radio. What are you doing here? Who's this guy that just hopped in? He doesn't even know, know anything you guys about us. <laughs> it's my daily commute. You I, just I fix our teeth and run away, David. <laughs> doctor it's David. Sad. We're okay with that. He went to school. I should say doctor. It's after hours. I'm not doctor. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the scalpel goes down. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But they... It was the Friends of the Satanic Temple Central Florida. This was their first event ever, and they were actually using it as a fundraiser (laughs) because if they raised enough money, they could prove to the Satanic Temple that they should have a real. It's like Pinocchio. They want to be a real Satanic. Did they prove? Did they prove it? I think they did because it was packed. It was packed. A lot of Satanists in Florida, and everybody was wearing black. David, except for me. (laughs) I had a pink shirt on. (laughs) Like, what's this? Well I, had a, I had a sweater on too. They're like, "What's this narc doing you here?" So, Mister <laughs> Rogers, I don't. I think I was wearing like a beefy king thing and a, and a neighbor sweatshirt. We just rolled in, but you know what? There's not a dress code. Satan don't need no, a dress code. No, there's I no agree. dress code. And I think he would actually like people sewing dissent with a little <laughs> pink in their wardrobe. He's probably right? laughing from down there. Yeah, <laughs> do it, boys. <laughs> I got in trouble He's for writing about it. He's the most satanic in that <laughs> pink shirt. Right. They don't even know what he does. <laughs> <laughs> Two in the pink. Um, I don't know why I just said that. I hope that doesn't get us flat. But they, yeah, it was fun. They had cookies. We found out what satanic cookies look like. Did you buy what, some? What do satanic no. cookies look I didn't like? Buy Every any other it. cookie. Yeah. Actually, a little melty. Like a co- they looked okay. a little. They looked a little melty. Because yeah. the heat. Because the heat. The fire. The fire is hell. Yeah. All right. Oatmeal cookies from hell. Oh, that's what they should. Is that what they do? Oatmeal from everything. It should have just been like <laughs> they're yeah. very, chocolate They're very health conscious of their from cookies. Hell. Vegan. Lots vegan, of vegan alternatives. Free. Yep. That was all. They there. had gluten free. Yeah. Satan cookies. Oh, they yeah. did. They so, did. I mean, huh. it was busy. I mean, you can't you can't knock them for not getting the people out. Taxidermy. Lots of people there. It was packed. Yeah, sure yeah. was. Like that was probably the busiest I've seen the uh, the Falcon and Thornton Park in a I long agree. time. So I good. agree. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So that's what we did. This we showed up. But I didn't like that all the Satanists were like playing in the street. They had no respect for traffic laws. No, you know, and other pedestrians. They were just like owning this block. And like so, when we were trying to drive through. They barely got out of the way of the car. The, the Satanists weren't very friendly. I they're, they're going <laughs> to hell so? anyway. Then <laughs> <laughs> the road to hell is paved with good intentions. <laughs> they didn't have any. Uh, I just did a. Uh, <laughs> I'll make a shirt. They, we just had a media dine at Smoking Donuts, which is that new cigar shop. It's Bellicoso. Yeah, we were there a few weeks ago. Yeah, we went there, and then they invited us back to try out their menu. Now they didn't invite me. Uh, well, you know. Life. <laughs> I think Scotty Campbell took your That's spot. That's all right. That's all right. Uh, delicious. Very good. They yeah. have good food. They, they've always had good food. Nice. Even they- better this time. So you can smoke a cigar at Bellicoso Cigars and then Smoking Donuts, the food truck, has taken over the kitchen. And Smoking Donuts refers to like barbecue and donuts. And donuts. Yeah. I'm always a little confused because I always think they're going to put barbecue on the donuts. They did. They did. You might be really? on something there. They had a salted donut 
it was almost like a sloppy joe, but it was like chip beef or something. And so I try to bite because I'm trying to be good. Uh huh. Not tonight. Not because I'm eating all I these Italian Ponios, so. <laughs> which is fantastic so far. I eat all. There's really a good. giant plate of burrata right in front of me. Well, well that's going to be empty by the time the night's oh, yeah. over. All of these plates. I almost licked the meatball plate. <laughs> Thank God Gino came and took the <laughs> bowl away. To and I'm not being racist. Hands. His name's Gino. I didn't just say that as a thing. His uh-huh. name's actually Gino. I will, I will confirm he is Gino. Thank you. I didn't make You're it welcome. up. Uh, yeah, they came. It's delicious. Everything's delicious. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Very so good. they have good, that, good. that donut thing. If you want to see what I'm talking about, we shared a picture on our Instagram at Orlando Bungalow where you can take a look at this. Um, it was decadent. You can put meat on anything. You're not going to ruin it. <laughs> Preach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am seeing a jog costume contest at Paws in the Park. Oh, yeah, yeah. How'd Saturday. that go? Amazing. Thousands of people with their dogs. Uh, the costume contest, I, I didn't get to judge. I was really just emceeing. And so Patty Sheehan was there, and she kind of strong armed everybody into going <laughs> along with her lesbians <laughs> and to choose who won. and i don't agree with who won but she was cute it was, it was like a nurse and her dog was dressed like a doctor and so they won uh scott joseph refused to award any points to a couple that was dressed like a chick-fil-a chick-fil-a dog <laughs> they dressed their dog up like a cow or something and at one point he there was a popeye's chicken dog there yeah and so he says on the on the microphone for everybody to hear uh Popeye's chicken number two and uh, extra points for not being Chick Fil A into the microphone and the, the Chick Fil A people were so sad. Oh, like they they didn't even they probably think, put in so much work. They did. They did. They had, the dog doesn't know. Uh, the dog, <laughs> the dog the shaming. Definitely felt it. They were holding uh, balloons. Oh, no. The lady was dressed like a cow. Like it was just like she was leaning into it and she was just heartbroken. Oh. So it got a little political. <laughs> right. I, he didn't need to say that. He could have just. You know, not giving them points. Uh-huh. Yeah, you don't need to rub it in about why. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> but like, you know, you be you, Scott Joseph. I rode a scooter this week. First time? First. Well, first time in Orlando. What'd you think? Uh, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I went and saw a movie downtown. I parked kind of far away. And so I took a scooter to the movie and it was great. Dropped a couple bucks. It was like three, three dollars or bad. so. Three, four dollars. Easy so, to pick up and just go. Yeah, I mean, I have the Lime app on my phone. Okay. So you used Lime. I did because I had the Lime app on my phone, and I didn't yeah. feel like downloading want, another one. Because the <laughs> Lynx one gives money to uh, local wildlife charities. Well, I don't uh, like animals. Yeah, me either. No. Unless they're on my plate. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I just I didn't feel like putting my credit card into a new app, and I already yeah. had the Lime one, so I okay. took the Lime. It was good. It was good. A little bumpy. So Learning Dr. Curve. David, as a dentist... Mm-hmm. As yes. a dentist, we yes. keep everybody. Every time we post about a scooter company, someone says, "Oh, dentist people raking it in. Someone's mm-hmm. gonna fall on their teeth." Have you had any teeth incidents yet? I haven't yet. Okay, I've been laying banana peels down, <laughs> like littering Mario. the streets like with Mario banana Kart peels there. and oil slicks. Yeah, Koopa Troopa next <laughs> for, to me yeah. Koopa for <laughs> weeks. <laughs> in, in, in no, yeah, Troopa. I knew, I knew this was coming. I've been waiting a long time. <laughs> Big Dental uh-huh. has been pushing this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For years. If you want to know why all these things went through, I just found out, oddly enough, I thought there was a cap on scooter companies in town. There's not? There's not. We I should haven't... start our own scooter company, you and I. But they, So they're capping every scooter company can only put out 200 scooters. Ours won't be motorized, though. They're just like, <laughs> it's just push, an actual they're just scooter. a bunch of old razor, razor scooters. scooters. <laughs> <laughs> razor scooters. And they just, and we'll just leave them out. Yeah, Nobody will use them. No tracking. Go ahead. Just throw them out. Cares? Throw, good luck. <laughs> we should, people, I wonder if people are doing that, just throwing their old scooters out on the street. Awesome. Use me. <laughs> Please. Please take this. The bungalow or scooter <laughs> fleet. Oh, we're going to do that. We That'd should. Be funny. Yeah. Put, put that on a, okay, on a we'll website. Put that on the list. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, what else happened? I presented an award at Fair Villa. Oh, yeah. Anyway. What, what was it for, Brendan? Well, I thought it was for best penis, <laughs> but it was for best penis related <laughs> product. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there, I was, a was there like a lineup? Yeah, well, that's, I showed Were you up. live judging this? Or? <laughs> no, this, I got up on the stage. I had to read from a card. They, uh, they already knew who it was. Uh, but I was when I was sold it and I agreed to do it, I thought I'd get to see something. <laughs> I didn't get to see nothing. No, I just not even at Fair Villa? No. Well, lots of weird ones, you know, <laughs> with like beads in it and things. It was really that's bizarre. Weird? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> a lot of weird rotating <laughs> items. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things that like look like you're, they like 
grind garlic or something. <laughs> and so, and they do. They actually sell a garlic grinder. Oh, garlic yeah. grinder. Yeah. You might have been looking at that. <laughs> but I returned it because I was confused. You were at Williams Sonoma, actually. You were at Fairbella. Deeply hurt. Oh, yeah. That's probably what it was. I was in the wrong spot. And I was trying to like, award gentlemen for. <laughs> that's a pepper grinder, sir. <laughs> he walked into Williams Sonoma. He said, Where are all the penises? <laughs> there, Get out, Brendan. Get out. It's the wrong store again. You don't belong here. It was fun. It was, you can see they live stream the whole thing. You can check it out. Awesome. And, uh, oh, man, a million things. We have an interview coming up with Dominique uh, Greco, the nightmare for the city of Orlando. I, oh, call her, night, I thought you said nightmare. Oh, well. Nightmare. Depends on the bar. Nightmare. Wow. Nightmare. She, I, or the bar czar. Bars are. I like that better. I think her official title is nighttime economy manager. And that, that sounds, sounds more lame. official. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think bars are is better because it rhymes. Does she I wear like a sash? Can we talk about this? She does not wear a sash. Oh, She's, I would. I would wear a crown and a sash and walk around and and give out free drink tickets to people. <laughs> very powerful role with the city. We'll hear more about it. She's And I think she's very attractive. She's also kind of looking for somebody. So, really? So if there's any eligible bachelors out there that are attracted <laughs> to powerful women, <laughs> let me know. Okay. Uh, you going to play matchmaker? Yeah, I'm pre-vetting applications. Speaking of bonus episodes, if you missed the one with Frank Billingsley... Uh, that one did very well. I looked at the numbers. Brendan. Oh, really? Yeah, it did very, very well. Oh, that's good. Yeah, a lot of people listen to that one. He, he's a he's our new what's her director of placemaking and competitiveness and competitiveness. <laughs> he's going to make everybody do calisthenics Jake before they go the to work. Snake. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I talk like that, but he actually I was just talking to him because we I just pitched a project to him. Uh, Emily Allen, who I was just hanging out with, the celebrity cupcake chef herself, uh, we did a video for the Orlando Economic Partnership. Her mother was one of the first person to get into yarn bombing. Yes. And she's out of Ohio. And so I was like, well, what will it take to get her to come here? And and it's not much. So we're going to try and do a tree downtown cool. covered in yarn. Yeah. And she's been all over the world. Emily's yeah. mom. Yeah. I would love to get her to Orlando. Uh-huh. So we'll That's see what cool. happens out of that. Let's talk. Let's talk headlines. Like we're right, everybody's to. like, "Oh my gosh, it's been twenty minutes. You haven't said anything oh about gosh. the news. How are we doing on time? We're, we're good. Right? We're okay. good. Okay. Uh, Orlando Magic is buying more land downtown. They sure are. They just can't stop. So I like this, but go ahead. Why do you like? I, it? Well, let's explain exactly what's going on. Please well, they want to buy a city-owned parking lot in Paramore. It's just up the street from Amway Center to build a. Uh, training facility yeah but it would also have like a community focused health component okay which you kind of need to say nowadays if you're buying things from the city in paramore you're like you throw in some community stuff yeah, well help locals and then they get it where 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 exactly is this lot at don't tell me, don't tell me north south like what's near it anything is it just by the amway center um it's on that side of i4 though right yeah on the, okay it's like where they have tailgating parties for soccer. Soccer. All right. Uh, I think I know what you're talking it's about. It's across the street from, like, near Huey, across from where the yard bar used to be. Okay. You can, you I know can exactly see the soccer you're stadium yeah, yeah. there. Uh, and so that means, Central. I mean, they're basically just adding to everything they have down there. So, obviously, they have the Amway Arena. Well, the city does, but it's magic play there. And then they're building that, you know, multi, multi, multi-million dollar entertainment district across yep. the street where the parking garage used to be. Which is taking a long time, John. And it is. Because it is. it's taking so long, they actually put a they put it in the purchase agreement that they have to start. They have to apply for a building permit within six months. From okay, now, I thought from it was. The time they they had, I thought it. they had to like get going in two years. Maybe I misheard that. I thought I heard it on the radio. Building permit in six months, tear down of what's there in like two months. Oh, okay, uh, and then I didn't see that other because if they don't, the city can like buy it back, right? Yeah. Or, or they can Snatch sell it, it and split the profits or something. No take backs. But, but the reason I like this, so right now, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, the Magic uh, practice up in Maitland at the RDV. They That's also where, practice at Amway. They, they have, have a practice yeah, but arena f- in yeah in Amway. But their okay. facilities are up at in, like I think they're all, a lot of their offices are up in Maitland. Doctor David would know because some of his clients oh, are basketball I don't know what players. You're talking about. But they do. But they do. <laughs> some one of my clients. But yeah. they do. They a lot of the ma- some of the magic stuff is up at the RDV. Yeah, I believe they have. And okay. so, like, it, it'd be nice to have everything. Con- I think it would be nice to have everything downtown. right downtown. Yeah. Like, I that's... agree. A few of our commenters did not agree. Yeah. Uh, I don't What's see the it backlash as... to. But it's a parking lot, right? Okay. But it's a parking lot. But I they, mean, people love their parking. 
<laughs> they do. And I it's, mean, it's also party. more intrusion into Paramore, right? It's kind of what people are seeing. It's kind of a cool but intrusion, a, But is though. a parking lot better or not? I don't know. All right. I, it will up the numbers for people who live there. Okay. Yeah. And it's another building for Orlando Magic. I agree. Right? So, like, at what point does... I'm not arguing against it. I'm I just know, saying. No, I yeah, get it. I maybe get it. it's I'm like, for it. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. D. You convinced me. For construction. <laughs> I just think uh, I could see it as at what point is it no longer a cool historic black neighborhood and it becomes a Orlando Magic Entertainment campus. Yeah. Right? Which there has to be a point, and, and, but it's a parking lot right now. So I, who, what can I fight against? Uh-huh. Uh, what has more value to the surrounding community and a, city as a whole? Right, a train like facility. Or, too. Yeah, Brings other people could use spot. it. Yeah, they could have a visiting to court. The area. Yeah, I agree. All right, uh, Moki Doki Donuts. <laughs> Are you just making up words? I know. <laughs> Moki Doki. Moki Doki. It sounds like Okie Doki. Where it's, is this? It's a. Uh, it's been a pop up at East End Market. Okay. This guy's kind of been in our radar for a while because he's he was hounding us to f- f- like find him a, a space to move into, and I was like, I'm not a realtor, but, <laughs> but here's a list of places you should look. I guess. And Did you just send him to the MLS? Site? <laughs> yeah. 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 Here's Zillow. Here's my yeah. finder's. Where's my commission, please? <laughs> I wish we should have a realtor's license for the amount of people that we fucked up should. with spaces. You should. Ah, yeah. Oh man, at least I could actually make some money. Yeah. Why don't you sell some houses? Why are you yelling at me? I'm just trying to get you. Why to, do you want me to be a better person? I do. I do. <laughs> I worry. One day. <laughs> you're le- well, you know, one day you'll leave me. <laughs> one day. Yeah. Moki Doki Donuts. They're, they do pop-ups. It's like Moki, like the Japanese, like chewy, like dessert. Okay. It's almost like a, like a Turkish, de- what do you call it? Turkish delight. Locum is the Turkish word for it. Locum. Yeah. It's like a really thick jello. <laughs> like if you made Jello, but thicker. You made it. <laughs> if you made, if you took Jello and you made it just a little bit thicker, yeah, yeah, yeah. thicker Jello. So like, like close jam. your eyes and imagine, and it's like a whole bunch of Jello. In so like it's a jelly one donut. cup of water. What would happen, right? Super thick. All right, it's a jelly donut with no donut. <laughs> it's just gel. They add that to a donut, and it becomes like a chewy donut. Sounds delicious. It's pretty good. And it looks like it looks like a beaded necklace that accidentally fell into a fryer, or like, or like, or like. You're really selling these donuts. Like butt beads. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, but it's like a bracelet. Just because you've been to Fair Villa in the last week doesn't mean you're an expert on all like. these. It's things. what it looks like, and they deep fry it. But they nobody's te- going to go to this place now because you're comparing <laughs> it to these things. It's maybe they. W- I disagree. Uh-huh. They're all going to want to go and put it up on their Instagram <laughs> and say, this is what Brandon told have us. Have you had a, a Mookie? Mookie Doki? Yeah, I, I was going to say Mookie Dookie. I have. So. Does it <laughs> taste as delicious as you described it? <laughs> it does. I'm such an artist with words. Speaking of good food, Brendan, we need to take a pause here. We do? So we can eat some more food here at Antonio's. And I'll tell you who these donut people are teaming up with at their new East End, lo- East End Market location. This is Scotty for Orange County Library System to tell you about these three things. Authors from a variety of genres will participate in our panel discussion, followed by a book sale and signing during our African American Author Festival. The event takes place at our Hiawassee branch on February 15th. Celebrate African American literature performed by local luminaries like WMFE President and CEO Erica Pulley Hayes. Our annual African American Read In will be downtown at Orlando Public Library on February 16th. Did you know Melrose in the Mix is now on television? Tune in to WCF Central Florida PBS on February 20th to see our recording session with Beep Boop rock band The Pauses. Learn about these three things and much more at OCLS.info or call 407-835-7323. That's OCLS.info or call 407-835-7323. Orange County Library System is your place to learn, grow, connect. Welcome. 
Welcome back to Bungalow and the Bus. I am the Bus Jar Bus Decker. And I'm Fifty Shades of Hey Girl. <laughs> it's Brendan O'Connor from Bungalow.com. I like that. That was good. Did you write that one? <laughs> I did write that one. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it out ahead of time. Uh, yeah, I can tell. No joking. Man, we are hanging out at Antonio's Winter Park, and it is... Amazing. So good. We're not just saying that because he brought <laughs> us a bunch of food and has treated us so well. And We're he's, saying that. Yeah, he knows what's up. He does know what's up. We had some gnocchi. Can you remember everything we ate? Tortellini. Tortellinis. Fish. Car- some soul. carpaccio. Mm-hmm. I'm a full-blown carpaccio yeah. <laughs> after eating that dinner. We just had, uh, what was the fish? Soul. soul. I want to see if I can remember. Soul fillet francaise Fillet. Style. It's filet. And a it? Chardonnay lemon sauce but it was almost like it was like in an egg thing it or was something. Yeah, it was so was, so good it was very good yeah we'll really we're good. gonna share the pictures of everything we ate at at orlando bungalow where come check them out here on park avenue change your life delicious yeah we also had some veal as well which yeah. was delicious oh my gosh the tortellini with the veal in it uh-huh oh, with so and bacon on it or ham so oh good. so good oh and their burrata which like was locally made burrata cheese? It's like mozzarella with like soft they, mozzarella they, they inside. The cow, they got the cow here. It's mozzarella here in stuff, Florida somewhere. Stuff yeah, mozzarella. stuff with mozzarella, which is basically like me. If I was a cheese, <laughs> I'd be a I'd be a burrata. It's good stuff. Burrata good O'Connor. Stuff. Yeah, burrata O'Connor. <laughs> oh, it's my drag name. <laughs> so here on Buffalo and the Bus, if you missed our first half, we talk about all things downtown Orlando and the neighborhoods around there, yeah. the bungalow neighborhoods. And hanging with me and John tonight. It's Dr. David Sutton, the Japper Dentist. I am here. He has worked on both of our teeth. Mm -hmm. Thanks, David. Yeah, thank you. It's full of spinach right now. Uh It's all right. I got some floss in my car. Uh, Do you always have floss (laughs) on you? Of course I do. Uh, The first time uh, David looked after my teeth, I literally had spinach in my teeth. No. kale. You you didn't brush your teeth before you went? Yeah, but it was a smoothie, so it was like all over. Mess. I don't know what I was thinking. Just assume I'm going to brush them for him. Yeah. But you found you were very chill. You were so chill about it. Yeah, and you have the fancy dentist chairs, like with the they massage your oh, neck yeah. and back, and the TV. It's funny. I got to tell a quick story. So I went. <laughs> we both have gone there, Brendan and I, and uh, he has like flat screen TVs on the wall, so you can kind of watch TV. Yeah, Netflix, when you're getting work done. When you're getting work done, and so the you can Netflix and chill. So Netflix I was sitting drill. there, and actually <laughs> Netflix and drill. Oh, I like that. That's a, that's a dentist joke. I'm sure they say that at the dentist conventions. <laughs> that's really. Funny. But uh, I was sitting there, and I actually had brought a magazine, so I was going to read a. a magazine but the woman who was the the hygienist she was like oh do you want to watch some netflix i was like no i'm good but at one point it it just sort of was on so i'm watching this and it was like a a nature documentary same same yeah and the one i was watching it was just like tarantulas eating other tarantulas (laughs) and stuff it just like like night crawlers eating other things i'm like i, I don't know if i want to watch this tarantula while on tarantula done. crime yeah There's nothing better to watch yeah yeah it was <laughs> so animals good devouring animals <laughs> i love it i love watching the nature channel especially if i'm having a smoke and a pancake uh-huh. i'm talking about watching <laughs> some nature channel uh i yeah great thank you so much dr david yeah, yeah. thank you for fantastic having me. job thank we're you gonna do delicious food this oh well great. thanks for coming man we're gonna do yeah. a giveaway aren't we with you Yes. And Bungalore's Instagram page, they can win. They're like fancy toothbrushes. Yes. So we have Quip toothbrushes we're giving out, his and hers. Quip. Quip. So you've seen them on Instagram. They have them at Target. What, what do they do? Why yeah, are they important? What makes them so special? So they're cool. They're like a subscription-based service type of electric toothbrush. So kind of like your Dollar Shave Clubs, your all, all those subscription-based they'll services. Swip, they'll swap all the tops, the, the bristles? Yes. Yeah. So they send them to you. And I have like a, a promo that I can give out as well when you come to the office. If you have a Quip or you're looking to get a Quip, um, I can give you a promo so you can get your first uh Mail-in order free. So nice. It's so like replacement heads. And yeah. So I, I just use mine until the bristles fall out. Is that the right way to <laughs> do it? That's the right way to do it. <laughs> All right. Good. Just like the brakes on your car. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just until they scream until, at until, you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Replace me. Yeah. yeah that's what I'm waiting for my teeth. It makes <laughs> my mouth bleed. It's ready to get a new toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that might be gingivitis. <laughs> but will we keep an eye on our on our Instagram page, at yes. Orlando Bungalow, or it's going to be an easy one. You follow us. You follow Dr. Yeah. David at Dapper Dental. And uh, and tag a friend, and you'll be entered to win. Awesome. You do do yeah. that a million times, so you'll have a million entries. There we go. Done. Done. Bada so bing, bada boom. We were talking about something before the break. Moki Donuts. Moki Donuts. <laughs> so it's donuts it. made with Japanese. Moki Moki Doki. <laughs> yes. <Right? laughs> yes. <laughs> you got it. Nailed it. <laughs> they're, they're, they're teaming up with Royal Tea. 
That's the tea shop in Mills 50 that always has like the line out the door right by uh, King Bao. So they've teamed up together and they're opening a shop on the second floor of East End Market. And right now they're just open on Saturdays and Sundays. They're going to start serving royalty at the end of the month. But like I guarantee it's going to be a huge hit. The, everything in there is Instagrammable. It's, yeah. it's cute. It tastes good. And then this will be easier is that, to go Is to. that how we judge things now? It's a recipe it's for Instagram Instagrammable. Success. If it's Instagrammable and tastes good, yes. That's Just like Dr. David's dental service. Uh-huh. His sp- it's all very Instagrammable. It is. It is. The dentist chairs look like they're straight out of Doctor Who. Like So, like, <laughs> aesthetics are important. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I agree. I agree, too. Yeah. To a point right? on food, though. Sometimes I just Presentation want Presentation is everything. You watch those good cooking food. shows, though. I don't need it to be perfectly Instagrammable. Uh, well. I'm just saying. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to have that much sometimes. I'd rather crazy. it just be delicious. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's important. I, I agree. If you're a new it restaurant. It needs to look good. It can't look like a lump. No. It can't look like you pulled a sock There's out a of a reason soup pot. McDonald's I, commercials have those burgers looking real good. Right, and then I you agree. get there, it's yeah. a tiny little patty. They put lipstick on the tomato uh-huh. and stuff. But yeah. there's such thing I feel like is going over the top with that. I agree. Well, let's talk about We're talking about food. All right. I'm just saying I'd rather the food taste good than it be picture worthy sometimes. Um, you like sandwiches, right? I, me? Are you talking to me or, or the? Well, I know you do. I love sandwiches. <laughs> love sandwiches. Doctor David, do you like sandwiches? Who doesn't like a yeah, sandwich? Yeah, who doesn't like sandwiches? All right, hold up. I'm gonna pull this up. But the uh, Orlando Weekly, our friends just did a twenty a roundup of twenty five essential Orlando sandwiches that everyone should try at least once. Oh, so I'm gonna we'll ask you if you've actually okay. tried these. Okay, you know okay. we have a, a sandwich like a, man here in Orlando. Biggie. <laughs> Biggie specializes, he specializes in it. In Jelly Fresh Threads, if you don't know, you can get a pastrami sandwich. T shirt. Yeah. And, yeah. He, and he makes his t shirts when he the packaging makes them look like sandwiches. Yeah, it's great. He's huh. a great guy. Yeah. It's your new favorite thing, Doctor. He's, he's a good guy. Is. So the first one is the ninja. A badass sandwich. I've been there. Is I don't know if I've, I think it's fine. Okay. I think it's fine. <laughs> I have not been there. I've been there. I don't know if I've had that sandwich, though. Bad A sandwich. Are we going to go through all 25? No, but I'll, we can all do right. like, the top five. Give me the five. highlights. Okay. <laughs> uh, Yellow Dog Eats. I've been there. Okay. Yeah. Not to the one here. They have one in like New Malabar. Smyrna. They have right? one in New Smyrna. Yeah, I think they have one in Malamar. Uh, uh, Malamar, yeah. Mal- is, that Malamar. Like a, is that like a, like a cookie a Cookie or something? <laughs> you got me so thinking about sandwiches, man. <laughs> I'm thinking about spinach. I do like Yellow Dog Eats out in Gotha. If you've never been, they got chickens running around yeah, everywhere. The food's good. It, they got good food there. Uh, their link just broke. All right. Well, thanks, Orlando Weekly, <laughs> for ruining that segment. <laughs> Wait, oh, here we go. Uh, melted fresh salads and grilled subs. It's I don't even John know that is. On John Young, John Young Parkway. I haven't been there. I've heard of melted, but not been yet. Nifty's Korean American craft cooking on nope. Orange Avenue. I haven't been there. Mm-mm. I haven't either. That's two. The craft at grilled cheeses. This is <laughs> grilled cheeses. I could, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's in brew theory. This is that. Oh, I have. I have been there. I, I, I've been to the the bar there. So they have like a, a little restaurant there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Grilled cheeses. That sounds awesome. <laughs> and we'll do one more. The pretzel sub with chicken salad at Backhouse German Bakery and Deli. This is in Ivanhoe Village. Mm. I haven't been there in a while, but I have. I've been inside there and eaten their food. They got good I'm stuff. I'm an too. over here. It's, I, it's, it's all bad. right. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, what we did, I, it's not a bad thing. We just gave you a list of places you have to go. To try. Yeah. All right. So those are good ones. If you want to see more, just go to uh, orlandoweekly.com or don't. Just support our website. <laughs> just go it's to bungalow. Yeah. <laughs> when in doubt, bungalow. When in doubt, bungalow or it. Orlando Storm, that's Florida's only pro tennis team, will return for their second world team tennis season this July in Lake Nona. Go Storm. <laughs> Go storm? Oh, storm? What are, are fans of the storm called? Do they have a name? Stormies? Like the lightnings or something like <laughs> I that? I don't know. Raindrops are falling on my head. Dopplers. <laughs> Doppler gaydar. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> If you want to check out their whole season lineup and when you can catch their games, just go on over to bungalore.com and type in Orlando Storm. So, Brendan, I know this isn't in our area, but we're gonna, I want to talk about it anyway. What okay. do you think of uh, – did you see who's coming to MegaCon this year? Have you seen some of the people? No. Is, are you big into – you're big into, like, nerdy stuff. Nerdy stuff. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to be kind about <laughs> yeah. it. I'm a 
giant nerd. So uh, I hauled you in a comic shop. We you did on we went Saturday. To the, yeah, the one in Maitland, which was kind of cool. What, what was it? Bamf was it called? Bamf. Bamf. Bamf Comics. Nice. And they had like a Baby Yoda painting class uh-huh. and really you could cool. rent board games there, which rent I thought was really board cool. Board games that was cool. That is cool. They had great board games too. But what? Who's coming? So we, got, we, we got the cast of a uh, uh, Clueless meet and greet coming. Alicia what? Silverstone. She's still uh-huh. around. From yeah. Clueless? Yeah, uh-huh. she's going to be here. She's the one that she still breastfeeds her kids even though they're like 10, right? <laughs> Isn't that the thing? As soon as you're old enough to ask for it, yes, <laughs> it's probably too old. But that's not all. That's David, I say that all the time. <laughs> I used to serve at Epcot at the LaSalle Steakhouse, and I'd be serving, and these, these ladies would be talking to their child who's standing up <laughs> while they're eating steak. Like, the kid was just eating steak, and then he also wanted some booby. <laughs> like, no, your kid can talk to you. Uh-huh. Like, that's... that's too old. At a little, that point. Too old. And, like, who's more reliant on it, the kid <laughs> or the mom, right? You got to yeah. get a fix. And then she'd just do it right there, and her kid's standing up to breastfeed. Uh, well, you don't want to sit down. It's better <laughs> digestion. <laughs> <laughs> if you can stand up to breastfeed, your boobs are either too low or... Oh, your, your child's kid's too, too tall. tall. <laughs> <laughs> too tall to ride this ride. Anyway, sorry. We got, well, I'll tell you some other folks that are coming to MegaCon. We got okay. with the Lord of the Rings cast. Oh. I'm excited. I like that. Cool. Oh, I, like I love that. that. We got Elijah Wood and Sean Astin. And I have all the box Is sets. I'm going to come. Go. Uh, oh, oh, do that pretty again. Good. It's pretty good, right? Do it again. The Brussels. <laughs> the Lord's <laughs> of Brussels. You're Perfect. You were, good, right? you were like spot Spiegel. on. I practice. Well, your voice time. afterwards got really deep, though. Yeah. You're That's like, how you're supposed to do. You're supposed to you start kind of. <laughs> <laughs> but, <all, laughs> but all four of them are going to be here. All four of the, the Is that like a sexy hobbits. thing? Does that get like a sexy voice oh, with yeah. your soon-to-be I'm wife? Sh- I'm I don't sure. know what you're talking about. No, <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I make Scotty do the Marvin the Martian voice. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that'll be another podcast. I'm going to kill you with my space modulator. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got the Saved by the Bell cast coming here, too. Also good. They're yeah. doing a remake or something, right? Are they? Yeah, yeah. Or like a revamp. Or Oh, no, it's a continuation. Them when they're older. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that just the college years? No, this is after the college years. No, they're oh, super now old. They're the, uh, they're, they'll the be parents. Sad middle age years. <laughs> with their kids in high school. So way after college years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got Zach yelling at his kid. Like, you need to be a better student. He's like, I was a good student. Dad, you were a terrible student. Zach was an awful person. Oh, yeah, too. he was. Yeah, Just, they all. I mean, they were all pretty mostly terrible. Mostly him, though. Mostly him. Plus, like Zach could freeze people. time when he was using it for like. He sure didn't freeze it that often. Narration. I feel like I would have freeze time <laughs> way I was more freeze often. Time, I wouldn't but it would be to like self serve stuff. Like, he's like, like, if he was an X Men, he'd be a villain. Uh huh. Because he was using it to manipulate his friends. <laughs> yeah. That's not a good thing to do. Yeah. Let's talk to him about that when he gets here. We also got some folks from the office coming. So it's actually a big it's, a, it's cool. a big thing i mean lord I, of the rings i feel so like, like the names they're getting are, are just bigger and bigger every year ian mckellen no no i don't think so just just him. the hobbits just elijah oh Wood. the hobbits the hobbits are uh, no, what you, are they doing nowadays what are you talking about hobbits. what are they doing sean astin he was in uh oh, yeah sean astin was a hobbit that's right he was in stranger <laughs> things yeah, but then he got killed by like a well, dog. Well, spoiler alert. Hey, yeah, he hey. Ah, it's too late. Too, too late. To go. What You're else right. you got? What else you got? That's it. Wait, how are we doing on time? Brendan Fraser's going to be here, too. <laughs> He's still around. And Weird Al. And Christina Ricci. Oh, I like Christina Ricci. Yeah. What's she doing nowadays? I don't know what she's up to. Wednesday? I love her. Wednesday Adams. Uh, if you lived in the Kingswood Manor, Queenswood Manor, Asbury Park, Forest Edge, or Lake Weston neighborhoods, you are under a water advisory in Winter Park because they had a water main break. And I just want to make sure you're not drinking water. Okay? If okay. you are, use a bottle. You're saving us, Brendan. Yep. Oh, I should say Megacon's in April. Oh, okay. Just to let you know, mid-April. You know what else is in April? What? Cat 2 Day. What is, what is that? You get a cat tattoo. The money goes towards saving kitties. Do you get to pick the tattoo? Hmm. I think it's like pre-done. Like, like it's for like templates. Uh-huh. And then everybody will have the same cat tattoo. But like you'll be able to see them at a beach and be like, hey, I saved a cat too, yo. How, how much is a cat <laughs> tattoo? An interesting idea. Is it like 50 bucks? Yeah, 50 to 100, depending on the size of the kitty you want to put on Can you. Can you put it anywhere you want? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, anywhere you want. Proceeds go to the Orange County Animal Services. This is happening on April 26th at the Golden Taro Inc. Club Group. And it's going huge. Where it's is on that? all the interwebs right at? now. Like, mm, like Lion, Red Lion Square area, Northeast Winter Park. All right. Yeah, Northeast Winter Park. Think of an idea. 
<laughs> go to bungalow.com. You can figure out where to get a cat tattoo. Yeah, just type it in. We have, we, every time we write about something, we always include a Google Map link so you can find them. That's good. Uh, I did a, a Bring to Orlando column. This is about things that I wish we had here in Orlando. And this one is about dog storage lockers. <laughs> just use old newspaper boxes. <laughs> <laughs> just lock your dog in it. <laughs> Do you ever try to like? Are you a dog person, Doctor David? Yeah, I love. We have a we have a little dog. You do? Yeah. What kind of dog? He is a rat terrier chihuahua runt. Oh, no, that's a hamster. That's mostly a rat. He's, he's pretty much <laughs> more <laughs> rat than dog. He looks like a little ferret. He's, is that your fiance's no, fault? That's, that's my. We have a mixed family. She brings a cat. I bring a dog. It's, oh. They don't dislike each other, but they don't necessarily like each other. Either. I get it. All right. What's your dog's name? His name is Zeus. I tried to empower him Zeus. through name. I like that. Yeah. You're very smart to do that. Yeah. yeah he's, help that dog out. Give him a, get, you know, help his complex a little bit better. Yeah. Kind of feel a little better. <laughs> so wait, what is a storage locker for a dog? It's air conditioned. It has UV lights that like clean it out in between uses, get it rid of the germs. Is this uh, like a boarding facility type place? Yes. Yeah, so like if you were walking to... Is it like an Amazon the, locker? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> okay. for a dog. Deliver and a it dog. looks like could a dog house. It's, these are it units that are... a human that doesn't have a house. You could if you had a toddler. You just <laughs> didn't want to bring it to the grocery <laughs> store. You could just sh- jam them in there. <laughs> oh, no, I see. You could. And it locks. <laughs> and there's a little camera inside. And you can watch what's happening inside the how, unit when you're running your errands. How long can they errands. stay in there for? 30-minute intervals. Ah, okay. And you get charged 30 cents a minute. So... Just as expensive as like a lime, uh, and it's really meant they they're at like grocery stores. So if you're yeah. walking to the nearby grocery store and you also want to walk your dog at the same time, I've throw your there. dog in there, get some groceries, come out. Your dog's been chilling out in an air conditioned unit for you know a couple of minutes, and then you carry on. I've been there when you want to go in and get something to eat, or you, you want something inside of a store, and you're like, oh, I yeah. can't bring my dog in here. It's called Dog Spot, and I want them in Orlando. Where do they have them? Uh, they launched in Seattle, but now they're all over the states. And That's the a great first, idea. right? Yeah, the first Florida location is going to be launching in Pompano, Pompano, Pompano Beach. Pompano Beach. Very soon, they say. I don't know. All right, so you can do it in a warm climate. I mean, I know they're air conditioning, but you know, yeah. it's still going to be hot, uh, at least outside. I think it's. I we need them here. I agree. I agree. Do you ever? When you take Bernie, your dog, do you ever uh, like just sort of chain him up somewhere and go in? Would you do that? No, because I feel like in Orlando they would like cut it and like find me a million dollars for like cruelty to animals. Yeah, I'm not a big. I mean, people yeah. do that all the time when you go to New York. They just sort of leave their dog out by the street. I don't know if I could do that. I used to do that in Canada. It's a risky business, right? Yeah, and there's, there's weirdos here that can take the dog yeah, to dog snatchers. And, yeah, no. Bernie's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if you're right. a really he's ugly right. dog, you just leave him around. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. good from a distance. <laughs> what we need is an ugly dog. Foaming at the mouth. Uh, like a rat terrier. <laughs> yeah, <a> rat terrier. <laughs> no, one, no one would take that oh. idiot. <laughs> Does he have like a big tag that says Zeus or like a spiked collar? No, he doesn't like collars. He's uh, oh. He likes to be in the nude. Free balling it. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's it for us. Uh, no, wait, we got to throw it over to our uh, events. Sarah, oh, let's see. Let's intern. go talk to Sarah. Sarah, the intern's going to tell us what to do over the next week. No longer just weekend events. Too many things going on in Orlando to limit it to the weekend. Yeah, and, and we know some of y'all are listening to us on Sunday, and you've already missed the events. So Sarah's trying to do roundups for the whole week. In between our episodes, let's hear what she has to say. Hey, Bungalowers. I'm Sarah, the intern, here with another event roundup. Saturday, we have the 7th Annual Quack Attack on Poverty 5K. You get to dress up like a duck and run around Lake Baldwin. It's happening at 8 to 10 in the morning in Harbor Park at Lake Baldwin. Orlando Wetlands Festival uh, is happening. There'll be guided hikes, presentations, animals, uh, and a native plant giveaway. It's going on from 9 to 3 at Fort Christmas Historical Park, and it's free to the public. Cupid's Undie Run. You get to run around in your undies throughout downtown and support, support neurofibromatosis. It's going on from noon to 4 at Elixir Orlando. The 2020 Indie Folk Fest is here, and it's a great family and pet-friendly outdoor event on the lawn. There'll be great food and local artists. It's going on from noon to 5 p.m. at the Manello Museum of Art, and it's free and open to the public. But there's a discount code for bungalowers to get $5 off on their VIP package. 
Sunday, February 16th, Orlando Solar Bears versus Atlanta Gladiators. Who doesn't love a local hockey game? It's going on at 3 p.m. at the Amway Center. Tickets cost $12 to $90 depending on your seats. The Ukuleleans Monthly Uke Jam is happening. You can bring your uke or any small acoustic or percussion instrument. Just sing along and drink since there's drink specials. It's going on from 3 to 6 at the local bar and grill in College Park. Thursday, the drunk spelling bee is back. Spelling bee competitors get to take shots of sake in between each round. And if you're bad at spelling, still go because it sounds like a lot of fun to watch. It's going on from 8 p.m. to 11.30 at the Falcon. And Friday, February 21st, the Florida Wax Exhibit is an innovative art exhibit featuring encaustic wax by Central Florida artists. It's going on at 6.30 p.m. at the Gallery at Mills Park. And last but not least, the first ever Lake County Balloon Festival will launch this Friday through the 23rd. Even if you don't take a ride, it'll still be worth it just for the selfies. It's going on from 5 p.m. to 9 all weekend at the Sheets Airport in Groveland, Florida. Again, I'm Sarah the Intern, and that's all for this week's Roundup. For more on what you can Orland do, go to bungalore.com slash events. Oh, that's Sarah. Have you given her a raise yet? Stop asking. Just give her a raise. She's gonna, she, she's got to work for it. She has student loans, she, man. Well, that's her fault. <laughs> she should have gone the alternative route. Which is what? Uh, just working Technical in the streets. College? Homeschooling yeah. herself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <sighs> what, do you want her to be a plumber? Selling newspapers. All right. I don't know. Jeez. <laughs> be a plumber. Plumbers <laughs> make a lot of money. I know they she do. Should I do, do. Yeah, school. you should fire her. She should be her. so lucky. I told her, girl, you ain't going to make nothing yeah. in this industry. Yeah. I know you're paying a lot of money to learn journalism, but you got to stop <laughs> right now. Uh, you sh- <laughs> she should just pay you. <laughs> she taught me how to make videos. <laughs> All right, you more. should pay her. <laughs> I'm learning more from her than she's learning from me. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much to Antonio's Trattoria. I can't say it. Trattoria and Wine Bar. It's Italian. I don't. And no parlo italiano corse bene. Just say Antonio's on Park Avenue. Antonio's Here Park, Park Avenue. It's so good. And thank you to uh, Dr. David Sutton. Thank you again. We're going to have, have some time. photos up from on Instagram. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. David from yeah. Dapper Dental, who does our amazing teeth. It's a lot of D's in his name. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next week. <laughs> <laughs>